All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Brav Genius. I'm going to be talking about whether or not you can start on a 450cc dirt bike. <laughs> Woo! Now, the reason I thought about this video is because it's the equivalent of people starting on a 1000 on the road. You know, people have done it before. Most people, you know, say you really shouldn't, and uh, I'm with them on that. And I'm going to talk about why you really should not be starting on a 450cc dirt bike. Now, with a 1000cc motorcycle, you can actually get away with it because they have rider modes and a, a couple different things, you know. Still really don't recommend it because you're not going to learn the way you should, but it's possible. Whereas on a 450cc dirt bike, I think that is one of the worst decisions you could ever make when it comes to riding is starting on a 450. Now that's not to say it hasn't been done. I'm sure I'm gonna get comments on here saying, oh, I started on a 450 and I was fine. Oh, that's great for you. But you know what? 90% of people, 99, the majority of people are not gonna do well starting on a 450. So let me talk about some of the reasons why starting on a 450 is an absolute awful idea. First of all, the power on those bikes is unbelievable. And the problem with that is, it's gonna wheelie on you in almost every gear. So if you don't know how to control the power, and you're in the woods, you're on dirt, you're in rocks, oh my gosh. Ever hear a whiskey throttle? If you haven't, let me show you this video. Easy buddy, brake, brake, brake! Oh my gosh, I saw that. Yeah, that's whiskey throttle, that's on a 125cc two stroke. Imagine if that was a 454 stroke. For those of you that are like, well, who am I to say that? I'm on a four, I'm on a two-stroke dirt bike. I've owned a YZ125 two-stroke, KTM 200 two-stroke, this YZ250 two-stroke. But before I had this bike, I had a Yamaha YZ450. So I have ridden a 450, I've owned a 450, and I understand the power of it and all these different things associated with it. The biggest issue to me personally for a 450 is the weight if you're riding it in the woods if you're on sandy trails or you're on really flat trails and open trails i mean you'll probably be fine but if you're someone that's starting on it and you've never ridden before you got to deal with the power and you got to deal with the weight of this heavy bike yeah you can always limit how much power you give it but you're never going to learn at the rate you should and that's what i was saying with my 1000 cc uh, motorcycle video as well for those that wanted to start on that it's like the amount of time that it's gonna take you to really learn the bike is gonna be so much longer than if you just bought something else for a couple months really really learned it well and then moved up to a bigger bike you want to start on a 125 cc four-stroke really really get good at that for a couple months and then you can move up to even a 450 I wouldn't make that jump right away see if a 250 floats your boat first but you should be starting on something smaller because the gearing and the lightweight of the bike, all these different things are really just going to help you progress as a rider much faster than if you just jump onto something big. Man, I haven't hit these trails in forever. I love these. These are nice. Nice and smooth. A little tight, but I love it. Now, I by no means am a professional rider. You know, I've got a long way to go as well. But, I understood that a 450, for the kind of riding that I'm doing, it just ain't the move, in general. And that's for someone who's been riding dirt for years. So for you to have not even really ridden a dirt bike and want to get on one to start, it's just an awful idea. I understand everybody, you know, they want that power out of a bike, but what most people don't understand is power isn't everything. And I've learned that because, like I said, I own a 1,000cc motorcycle, I've owned a Force 54 stroke dirt bike, and I would rather have this YZ250 two-stroke over that YZ450 any day of the year. And this bike feels so much lighter than that bike did in the woods, it feels so much more maneuverable, and, you know, I could go with something lighter, I could go with something else. For me, this is the perfect distribution between power and weight. Even though it probably is overkill for the kind of riding that I do, I still think it's a great 
bike overall in comparison to the 450. There's really only one circumstance where I think it would be okay to start on a 450. And that's if you're someone that's been riding quads your whole life, you understand a manacle, you understand a mechanical clutch. And you're like a really big person. Like you're like 6'5", 250 plus pounds. And like any other bike is really just not gonna work for you. You're just gonna be too over, it's gonna be too underpowered for your weight and, and body. You're gonna be too big on the bike. That's really the only time I think you should get a 450. And even then, I wouldn't start on a 450. I would see if you could like borrow a buddy's bike or something for a couple rides. And like at least learn how to ride a little bit. Because even then, I mean, I've seen dudes, I've seen hundreds of videos of people looping their bike. And uh, if you have never ridden anything and you hop on a 450, you will probably be in that compilation. You probably are not going to be able to give it enough juice for it to stay cool. I can't really speak on the newer 450s as much because my 450 was an 07. But let me tell you, that thing would overheat a lot. I was going as fast on that bike as I could. Wow, it must have been muddy through here, huh? Jeez. Woo! A little gnarly. <laughs> well, uh, I messed up. So I'm gonna see if I can get this thing out of here. I don't know if I had that on camera, but uh, I think my dirt bike's trying to tell me something. It tried to go in the river. I think it wants to cool off. It's hot today. Anyway, let's uh, let's finish up this video. So more than likely, you are not gonna be able to give the bike enough enough throttle to keep it cool and happy. And the bike is gonna hate you for that. It's gonna overheat. It's gonna suck. So that's pretty much it, guys. The bike is too much power, too heavy, and it's hard to keep it cool enough unless you're really moving. So those are some of the main reasons I don't think you guys should start on a 450. If you want to go ahead and do it, all power to you. Just be aware, most people don't recommend it, and so those are some of the main reasons why, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.